Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Today I am out here in the garden now. Just the other day I got a question. And I'm going to read that question to you guys. And what I am also going to go ahead and do is do a video based off this question right here, guys. All right. So here we go. Um, now, this comment came from at Salon Cotton 1239. And her question was, how do you allow for a harvest to go to seed? Now, that is a question. Very great question. And also goes on to say, please help me understand. Please give us a example. Okay. And so that right there is a question, her question that she asked guys. And like she said, she want a example on how I let my plants or even my brassicas, because that's what we're going to be talking about today, goes to seed. Okay. Now, one of the thing is, of course, um, you can plant brassicas um, twice in the year. You can plant them first um, in the spring, and also you can plant them in the fall, okay? Now, one of the thing is if you plant them in the spring, you will have to wait till next winter, okay? You would have to wait till the winter is over, and then in the spring, like right now, for them to go ahead and start going to seed guys. Okay. So these particular, and, and most of, before I get on, most of those ones that you plant in the spring, some of the time, what will happen that summer heat will eventually kill them on out. Okay. So for the ones that you plant in the fall gives them a better chance of going through, uh, the fall, the winter, and then in the spring, then what happened in the spring, once the weather starting to get warm, these seeds, they will start flowering. But before we get to that, what we're going to talk about, she wants to know how do you allow your harvest to go to seed? Now, of course, what we will do is we will come on in and we will harvest off these plants. Okay. So typically what I did with these right here, this now, particular these... plant right here is the dinosaur kale, also known as Lassianata. Okay. So what we will do in the fall, once these plants get to size to where they can start harvesting, we will simply come on in just like this right here. And we will pluck the leaves guys okay so that's what we will do so that way we get the most out of our plant now i know some people out there what they will do they will come on in uh, especially with your collards and they will cut it right here guys and they would whack the whole top off now you don't want to do that because if you do that what is going to happen you could have gotten so much more harvest out of your brassica but if you come in and whack it off, you take away the crown of the plant, which is where a lot of your leaves comes out of. You don't want to just whack it. Just simply come on in and pluck those leaves, just like I showed you. Now, one of the things that I notice and what I, I, I like to practice here on the homestead, I don't really like to come in and snap them or pluck them off of the stem. What I've noticed, sometimes when I do that, my plants will end up dying faster. So I will come in and I will pluck, when I pluck, I pluck it and I leave uh, some of the plant remaining on uh, the stalk itself. And so that way it can wither away and then eventually fall off, uh, plant being able to heal itself through that process. Okay, so that is what you want to do whenever you come on in to harvest your plants just pluck those pretty beautiful leaves take them inside and cook them leaving the plants still intact so that way 
you can go ahead and let them go to seed okay now even in our last video guys i was talking about our plants going to seed okay now typically um they say it will take about two years for your brassicas to go to seed. But if you plant them right at that time in the fall, okay, you plant them in the fall, they're able to go through that cold season, which is the winter. And then in the springtime, once the weather start warming up, what will happen? These plants right here, they will start to flower. Now, when I say flower, what I mean, let me show you all an example. Give me just a moment. Pretty much want to touch on just about everything that will help you in the process on how to save your own seeds. Okay, so when I talk about your plant going to flower, guys, I bring you all in real close. Okay, now that right there is it. Now you see that little yellow flower most of the time, uh, if not all the time, your brassicas is going to come out with yellow flower. Um, your, your bugs and your bees, that color is easily identified with your insect, okay? So that is pretty much it right there. It is going to flower, but hey, the process is not done just as yet. Now these flowers right here, guys, they have to now go through uh, pollination, okay? Um, what I mean by pollination, uh, brassicas are open pollinators. So therefore, they can be pollinated by the bees, they can be pollinated by the wind. I can simply come on in and shake it just like that and they will get pollinated, guys. Now that is what open pollination is. Self-pollination would be your peppers, would be your tomatoes, and also even your okras, guys. Those are self-pollinators. So therefore, um, you know, you don't have to go through the wind blowing for you to get pollination. They can pollinate themselves. Now your brassicas, on the other, other hand, they are open pollinators. So just like the wind is blowing right now, that right there will help these plants to get pollinated. Now we're going to even talk a little bit more about something else, but stay tuned. We will touch on that in just a moment because the process for these is not finished. Now, once this flower right here get pollinated, what's going to happen? Um, it will start to grow the seeds. Now that is called a seed pod. And you will know when the changes is started with these plants because it will move from the flower stage to where that they start growing a little long skinny uh, seed pod um, about that long right there sometimes they're a bit shorter this all depends so that is one of the things that you want to look for whenever your brassicas are going to seed okay all right so one other thing is because yes here on the homestead i have quite a bit of brassicas planted so this is one of the things that you also want to note guys with all your different brassicas that you have planted in your garden um, for me here on the homestead i have to make sure that i play pay close attention to my brassicas and which one's starting to go to seed at what time and all that different kind of stuff. Because originally, what uh, what I really want to do, I really want to get me some Lacionada uh, seeds, guys. So therefore, I have the red Russian kale planted here. I have turnips planted up top. I also have another variety of kale planted up top. I also have mustard. So I have to pay very close attention and make sure they all don't go to seed at once. Because if they do go to seeds at once, I would have to come on in and the one that I want to keep, I will simply go ahead and leave that one alone. And the one that I don't want, guys, I will have to terminate it. Simple reason why we talk about open pollination. Because if I don't, a lot of my seeds that I will be harvesting will not stay true because the wind can simply blow that pollen dust on up to the other garden, therefore causing those other brassicas to pollinate, um, you know, cross pollinate with one another. And even also, you have to understand that we have 
the bees guys now those bees they can fly all anywhere up to about a mile so um, that is also one of the things that I have to also keep in mind when it comes to um, my brassicas and want to get seeds from them okay so right in here um, as you all can see this is our red Russian kale it have not started bolting just as yet okay it have not started and when I say bolted uh, this is what's happening right here in this process. This Lassianata kale started bolting, therefore it's starting to put on flowers and it's in the process of going to seed, guys. Okay, so that is what I mean when I say bolt. Um, so this one right here I have not started yet, which is a very good thing because if I can get seeds from this right here as well, that will be a thumbs up. Um, if later on in the process it start to go to seed while these right here flowering stage is already over that's exactly what i will be looking for so with these right here i would love for all of them now to just start going to flower so they can do their thing so that way once these one right here start to go to seed these one will already be finished okay so what we're going to also do now we're going to just take a little walk on up to the top garden just to kind of take a look around because yes i do stay tuned we head on up there and we'll talk a little bit about plants going to seed as well stay tuned and okay guys and i am up here at the top garden and as you all can see i have quite a bit of brassicas still planted up here now <laughs> The more you harvest, the more they keep on producing, especially once you have the right amount of fertilizer inside of here, um, they will go ahead and keep on producing. Now, one of the thing is what I do whenever I come on up here and I see a plant like this start to go to flower, what I typically will do is I will go ahead and pull that plant. Uh, sometime I'll go ahead, give it to the chickens sometime i will go ahead and even drop it right back inside of the row let it go ahead and break on down back into the soil guys okay so right in here um, is where we have some curly kale very beautiful beautiful uh greens um you know very tasty as well these ones right here they have not started going to seed just as yet in a way i am happy for that because this is a plant that i would want to save some seeds from so and i have just about two rows of it guys and so it have not started bolting just as yet so that is a plus now right on over here i have my broadleaf mustard that is starting to go to seed right in here you can see some signs of where they're trying to go to seeds guys okay right here you can see where that is starting to get this long stalk on these plants that is a sign to let me know that they're going to seed but hey what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and come on in and harvest what I can harvest and I'm just going to go ahead and terminate everything else that is in these row. I have the broadleaf mustard and I also have the curly leaf mustard. Now these are all uh, plants that I would love to keep seeds from guys, but I cannot, I can't. So what I probably will do, I will keep seeds from the Lassianata kale over there. If this one right here don't go to uh, start bolting while that is still putting um seeds out what i will do i will simply have to terminate one of them but you know it's one of those things is hey majority rules and i do have a lot more curly kale here than last year not so it's a decision that i will have to make um once we get to that um get to that point but i definitely know i'm going to come on in harvest out these uh broadleaf kale and curly leaf kale and I will go ahead and terminate this bed right here. Now, right on over there, I something I plant, I can't remember exactly what it was that I planted at the time, but that is also going to seed. Now, what I'm going to do with that right there, 
I'm going to come on in with my machete guys and I'm going to chop it back, lay it on the bed, cover it with the tarp, let it go ahead and break down. Because you have to understand, you terminating, you're bringing back nutrients into the soil. So um, I pray that, hey, I did answer your question about how to let your uh, your harvest go to seed, okay? Because it is very important for seed saving, all right? Um, it is very important, um, just about any plants that you plant, if you love that plant, you love the way how it, the food tastes from that plant, save you some seeds, guys, because you cannot go wrong with saving seeds. You just imagine, um, I came on in, we're just going to use that example. You just imagine you come on in and you plant, you plant just one seed, right? Now that plant starts to go to seed and it put out those seeds, seed pod. You plant only one seed and this plant right here can give you hundreds of seeds. So just make sure that you're saving some seeds. And not only that, it helps to keep the, the, the genetics of this plant and to keep it going. Okay, if you were to come on in and plant a plant, you harvest all the veggies and you didn't save any seeds, you have nothing to plant back for next year. So make sure you keep that in mind. Now, one of the bummer, bummer thing is, is that I'm going to also have to come on in and terminate my purple top turnips because yes, they are starting to go to seed. I would really, really love to save some seed from them, but because I cannot have all my brassicas to go to seed at once because the seed will not stay true. Okay, so that is one of the things why I cannot save seeds from every plant that I grow out here. And we absolutely, like I said, they're starting to go to seed now. And we absolutely, guys, have some beautiful uh, turnips. Now, of course, that's not a, a turnip that you would want to save. Um, you would want to get the turnip from because it's starting to bolt. Um, that turnip might not taste the best or taste the greatest, but definitely in a, in a survival situation, that turnip, hey, <laughs> look at here, I'm going to eat, okay? But um, nonetheless, um, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to come on in and I'm going to go ahead and start, um, I'm going to go ahead and start terminating this turn up right here guys but look at that yes that right there is a turn up a very very huge turn up guys look at that very big compared to my hand let's see here we got leaves in the way but we're gonna pull this off right here and look at this compared to my hand that is a very big turn up okay so yes like i said i have to come on in and terminate it but before i do so um what i will do i will pick a couple of these leaves and take them on over there to my chickens and let them go ahead and feast a little bit okay but guys I pray that I answered your question, um, that um, everything was clear for you. So one of the things that you also want to keep in mind, if you are going to save seeds from your plants or from your brassicas, make sure that you only have, you're only saving seeds from one variety at a time, okay? Because if you try to plant multiple multiple brassicas in one area and try to save seeds from them all at once, you will run into cross-pollination. So just make sure that you're managing your brassicas and what you want to save seeds from. Okay, so I pray that I answered your question and we will catch you all in the next video. Remember, you keep a smile on your face, 
Hey, girl, what you doing up here? What you doing up here? Huh? What you doing up here? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Now, you know you're not allowed in my garden beds, don't you? Huh? You know that, right? But you want to come and say hello to me anyway? And that right there, guys, is Lola. Yes. And so um, we will catch you all in another video. Um, remember, keep a smile on your face. You be happy. You be cheerful. And you be blessed. Until next time, we will catch you all in another video, guys. Have a blessed day.